Welcome to this explanation of how this free media kit works. I'm a drummer and to communicate with other musicians, we use the term rudiments. That's the name of the pack. And rudiments is just like, it's like an alphabet of rhythms. And that's why I wanted to call this pack rudiments because it essentially is an alphabet. You can start to build with these building blocks, these 30 free building blocks that I included into my pack. So let's dive in and see how this actually works. So I have this project in front of me. Uh, let's play it. So we have a very strong beat. Now, I don't really like the Hyatts. The Hyatts are this green part over here, but the problem is it's audio, so we can't change it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deactivate this whole track and I have pulled up a new track with a Hyatt sound where MIDI signals can be inputted. So now we're gonna put in a MIDI signal. You can import files from the pack via your browser content pane, or you can literally pull up your Explorer, whichever one you have. Finder is cool too in Mac, and you just open up the product. Now what is important though, is when you're gonna import a MIDI file, please have a look at your BPM, which in my case is 134. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find a BPM very close to the MIDI file. Now, the MIDI file is automatically gonna adjust to your specific BPM in your project, but still, make sure it's somewhere in the same range because otherwise you might get some weird results. Closest one I can get over here is the 135, but I'm just gonna do the 136 just because I feel like it. And let's now let's play, let's see what it sounds like. I really like this. I was looking for a more complex sound. The Hyatt I had before were a little bit too simple, a little bit too basic for me. Now, this doesn't just count for Hyatt's. There are four kick files, but there are also 11 snare sounds in it. So you can really build your whole beat just with this pack. Now, uh, for instance, I don't like the, let, let's say I like the kicks in this case, but let's say that I don't like the kicks. Well, I just go into the kick panel, same thing. Look at the BPM. Okay, let's try 132. Let's raise the velocity. You can still change whatever I preset it for you. You can always make changes to my presets. Look at these MIDI files as presets. This one doesn't work. So let's go to the closest one in there. That's 145. That's still pretty close to 134, which is our current project BPM. Well, this one is kind of funky, so I'm gonna keep it in there. You feel me? That's how this works. Now let's get a snare. Fuck it. Like, I like the snares, but let's let's get some snares in there. We have the exact BPM, so I'm just gonna drag in this one. Voila, I just, I wanna put a velocity ramp in here. You can do that. You can do everything you want with my MIDI files. If you want to download this free MIDI kit, then you can just download it via the link, which is going to be the first one that you're going to come across in the description or the first comment under my video, which is going to be pinned and the link is going to be in there too. Have a lot of fun with it and don't forget to tag me in your stories with what you made. See ya.